What is up everybody and welcome to 2021. Kicking in the new year with the Packers at 13-3 and and the number one seed, just to let everybody know. Uh, we have a lot of cool things coming up this year, some different things with the channel that we're going to be doing. Today we're going to check out some bridges. It's going to be the four bridges. I'm going to show you where they are, what the connectivity looks like, uh, all the way down from one to the other and how they're all intertwined and where they're going to connect each other. So. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start up here at the Chitty Chatty Bridge. This is a view from the inside of the Chitty Chatty Bridge. The Chitty Chatty Bridge connects Rohan, which is north of Highway 44. That would be on your right there, that um, recreation center. And it connects it to the Chitty Chatty Development which is south of Highway 44, right along 44 and Morse Boulevard is where Chitty Chatty is. The Chitty Chatty Bridge is golf cart only, and like I said, runs over Highway 44, which Highway 44 runs east to west, and all of these bridges actually run north to south, so. Now the weird thing about the Chitty Chatty Bridge is the north side actually has a walking path up to the bridge, but you can see the south side does not have a walking path up to the bridge. Now this road that you're looking at there actually leads through Bradford, through St. Catherine, and will attach to Megasin which will be the next bridge that we are going to take a look at. And that is the Southern Oaks proposed bridge. So this bridge here, which you can see in the background there, is going to be right off of Megason Road. It's going to connect Southern Oaks Golf Course with the urban core and the two championship golf courses, which will be on the south side. It will run over the turnpike and that will be multimodal with golf cart and vehicular traffic. The villages just announced recently that the urban core will be constructed in 2023. The next bridge we're gonna do is the Brownwood Bridge that you see here. So the Brownwood Bridge connects Brownwood to Megason Road by golf cart path. This bridge does have a walking path on both sides leading up to the bridge as you can see right there. This bridge is open now along with the Chitty Chatty Bridge also. Both are open. And this bridge like the Chitty Chatty Bridge crosses over Highway 44 going from north to south. And like I said, it is open so you can actually ride your golf cart across this bridge all the way down the trail on Megasin to the other side of Warm Springs, which I'll try and lay out for you roughly and the only bridge that is not connected golf cart path wise is going to be the water lily bridge which we see next time you can see the walking path coming up this side to the top of the golf cart bridge obviously this path can be used for golf carts walking etc now this is where it connects to right on megasin and we're going to take a trip headed south along Megason here, which is what will lead you to the Water Lily Bridge. It is actually January 4th today. This is not what the Megason looks like now. Megason's actually open. This is in the past. I do have a video of Megason 
not too long ago, if you want to take a look at that. But this is the road that leads to the Water Lily Bridge, and it goes south out of Brownwood straight to the Water Lily Bridge. The golf cart path is already done on this road. And it borders Lake Okahumpka right there that you see on the left. And this will actually cross into the village of Deluna, which is what you see right here. That's the Water Lily Bridge, which is right here in front of us. This was earlier in the year, I should say later 2020, where the bridge was not in place yet on the corner of where Megason turns and heads towards St. Catherine, right there. The bridge is now in place, which you'll see here in a minute. So this bridge actually connects south of Brownwood to Deluna area and is a golf cart path only. You will then be able to take the golf cart paths along Marsh Bend Trail all the way over to the Marsh Bend area and currently you'll be able to take Warm Springs Avenue over the Turnpike and eventually all the way down to the Southern Oaks Bridge back around to the north if you wanted to head back toward the Chitty Chatty area. All the way back up to the Chitty Chatty Bridge along Morse or through the Bradford and Chitty Chatty areas. Megasim pretty much connects all of these bridges except for the Chitty Chatty Bridge. Now if you've watched any of the other videos on the bridges that I've done, you will see that the Water Lily Bridge is the last of the golf cart bridges to be completed. Running north and south over the turnpike, there will also be a second Deluna area that this is connected to. This should be done the beginning of this year, probably within the next three months of 2021. I know that the village's fiscal year ends in April, so I would assume by April they will have this completed. And you can see it's actually in place now across the turnpike going through it has more than this done i've done another video on this showing the actual construction currently and what it looks like i'm interested to see if this will also have a walking path up to the top like brownwood or like Chitty Chatty where it has only one. I think the Water Lily Bridge only has one path and I think it's on the south side leading up to the bridge. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We will be driving a golf cart on this whole path so stay tuned for that. We can't go over the Water Lily Bridge yet, but we will be going over the Brownwood and the Chitty Chatty Bridge and showing you exactly the whole path of the golf cart. And I will lay that out for you. Also, we should be doing that at the end of this week. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like, give us a subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications. And as always, we will see you in the next one.